Welcome, welcome. I am in for another episode of The Weird Way. And this has been the trend lately. And I am doing another solo episode. I've been going through a lot of changes myself, going through a couple different moves and restructuring of a few things in my life. And I've still wanted to continue the momentum of this podcast. So there's been less energy on getting guests in and just jamming with what's alive for me. And where I want to take this episode is perhaps a little bit more higher form or higher states of consciousness and thinking about a bigger picture. And where I'm going with this episode is the deep structure and story of something. And so this was a concept introduced by many, many different sources. It's something I've been journeying with for a while. Like uh, if I'm truthful, I can see that this has always been a common thread in my work of looking at the path of soul and how people go on their own paths of soul and what that means. And it wasn't until I heard Mark Gaffney talk about deep structure that this really, really landed for me. I was looking at personal myth and the meaning of the story that we weave before this, but there was just something that hit in another way when I heard Mark Gaffney start speaking about this idea idea of deep structure. So I'm going to hit this in a number of different things today and speak to why this is important, whether it comes to building a business, living a life on purpose, living a life of alignment and how these are all interconnected by a deep structure and a story that runs through our entire lives. So that's where I'm going today and before I do that, I want to speak to why this is so important in the modern world. So if we look at the collective right now, we can see that overall, most of the collective stories around a greater purpose, a greater meaning have died. Like there is no global religion which gives a person a sense of meaning. We've lost that to the scientific age in ancient times, whether you're looking at the Greek or the Egyptian or even like Norse, they all had their own pantheon of gods and even tribal days, they had stories that gave them a sense of meaning and place within the greater world. Now, in our society, we've gone into a scientific age and that story tells us everything is rational. There is no greater meaning. The world is something to be studied, observed. We live, we die, and that is the end of it. And so there's been a loss of meaning or a loss of a collective story that helps guide us as a people to a deeper sense of meaning and of knowing our place within the world. And and this is a sadness, and I, I contribute this to much of the current pains in the world and the suffering and, and individuals' feelings of aloneness and feeling lost. So... This is why, this is why it is so important to consider the deep structure of anything. And what I mean by deep structure is a singular story that weaves through the creation of anything. So this could be the creation of a business, this could be one's own life, this could be a relationship, it could be anything but the deep structure is what holds it together and allows it to have strong foundations now in the modern world going back to what i said before there is no deep structure that supports humans to move in towards something greater it's the world is dead nothing has meaning so at the moment a lot of the world is moving towards a dystopian future which doesn't have as much meaning as I personally would desire and I see this all traced back to a loss of meaning and so the deep structure is crumbling of the world there is no collective story that is allowing it to be held together in a strong sense and I believe a lot of the work that I'm doing and a lot of the work other people are doing are looking at the new 
collective story that is emergent and what that looks like and how that can give people a sense of meaning and belonging. So as a collective, we can work towards something greater than ourselves. In the last episode, I talked about the importance of having a greater purpose than ourselves. And on a collective scale, we also need a greater meaning than ourselves. Otherwise, it's just like, well, what's the point? So this deep structure is what holds that. And so when I consider my own business, my own path right now, the deep structure has all been about soul. So at the moment I've been talking a lot about business and how other people can create business and helping people along that path to live their purpose. But really what my deep structure is, is about soul. And what I mean by soul is a person's unique life path, the thing that they're here to do that is unique to them and they're meant to do while they're here alive on this plane of consciousness. And their soul has probably lived a number of lifetimes and in this life they've come to live a certain life. So my deep structure has always been about how other people can live in alignment with their soul. Now, it hasn't always looked the same. Sometimes I've went into things like relationship. Other times it's been business. Other times it's just been empowerment. But when I drop beneath the surface, because they're they're all surface level things, like we're looking at the problems, the challenges that a lot of people face, and that's how I market and what I'm looking to do because that's how it connects to people. But there's a deep undercurrent which is speaking to soul and This allows people to feel held as I shift between different subjects and go into different things because there's something holding that at a deeper level. And this is something I've only really contemplated uh, over the last couple of years. When I started, this wasn't something I was aware of, but as it's emerged, I can see the importance of this because it allows a continuation of the story of my business and it's building it into something bigger. It's an entity. It is a movement that is moving towards something greater than just itself. It, it, because of that, it allows it to create ripples and that affect other people and that ripple out for more and more people. So when we go to create something, we want to consider this deep structure because when I look at my business, I can see that aligns with the own di- my own deep structure of my life. My, my own deep structure is I'm here to know myself. I'm here to discover and explore who I am, meet myself, create a life I truly desire and have an impact upon this world. And so that sits below the deep structure of my business, but they also run in parallel and alignment. If there was a dissonance between them, it wouldn't work. And this is what can happen when a person is working a job they don't want to work. There's a dissonance between the two structures or one's one doesn't isn't able to hold their soul. It isn't able to support them in a way that is truly needed. So instead they live a life that is kind of it, but then there's this dissonance. They feel something beneath the surface it can be like oh everything feel like looks good and this was my my story when i was depressed and anxious like it looked good on the surface i was getting good grades i had great friends i was partying having fun meeting girls it all looked good but beneath the surface i was in pain and i didn't know how to express it because there was an disalignment of values how i was living and the deep structure that was meant to be my life And so this is what happens for people when they're not considering the deep structure. And we see people who, or I see people who are building a business. And at the start, it can be a surface level reason of, oh, I want to do this to make money so I can quit my job. This is beautiful. This is okay. This isn't bad. It's the same if you start going to the gym because you want to look good. It, it's a vein, but it's surface level, and that's okay because it gives motivation to start, and sometimes this is what is needed. But unless we go deeper, that's going to have a limited return, and at some point 
it's not going to be worth it to continue going anymore or you'll be seeking something more meaningful and it'll be like, oh, I don't know about this. It, it just isn't hitting the same. Well, that's the point where you're looking for a deeper structure that supports something more. So at the gym, it might be like, oh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm now doing it for because it allows me to stay in shape, which allows me to have a higher energy output so I can follow my purpose and live my path and give more to this world. Oh, that just went a whole nother level deeper. That is going to support me to give more to this world. I want to do that. And it's the same in business. If it only stays the surface level of I need to make money, well, at some point that like desire to make money, it doesn't matter if you know it's when you're a millionaire or when you're just starting. It's not going to be the thing that fulfills and sustains you because it's only a surface level desire. And so what we want to do is tap beneath that and consider, oh, what is the truth in that is supporting me here? What is the truth in that I am after? Because this is a deep structure. And this is where we're feeling called to go in society. Like the world, most of it lives a surface level life. This is where we're having small talk. It's like, hey, how is the weather today? Who does that actually fulfill? Some people aren't. It does, like that's all they want. But I believe there's a craving in their soul for something more. And it's this depth that is required and desired. And when we begin to consider this and drop deeper into our own deeper structure, we bring that to this world. This is how we have depth in relationship and who we are. And this allows a more meaningful life. And so when I go to create right now, I start to consider, okay, how does this align with the deeper story I'm telling? Like, we just finished up the gathering of men. So this was a yearly event we're running here in Australia, and we had 150 men there for four days. It was a beautiful retreat. I've facilitated at it for two years now, and I'll be there next year. And what it is is about getting men together, peeling back the lays, and allowing men to just be themselves and creating a new culture of masculinity. That's how I'm viewing it. And so I need to check that because it's beautiful. It's fucking incredible work. And I need to check how that aligns with my deeper structure, my deeper vision, because if it didn't align, I would feel drained. I would feel resentful and I'd be like, oh, why am I doing this? But it aligns deeply. It's not it's not the thing that is always going to be for me. I'm, I'm deeply committed to this work because I love it and it also aligns with my values and what I want to create in this world and my deeper structure of connecting people to their souls to allow them to live lives that are true for themselves. Like that all aligns because it follows that. And so I can use that as a vehicle to fulfill my deeper structure and there's an alignment of values, there's an alignment of story that, playing out in my personal life and this for me is a check of alignment because we can speak to alignment in the terms of value and also story like I consider my life as a story that is being told every day and the transmission I am given the world is the story I'm telling the world it's like a book that is being written as I live and so at the end of my days the world is going to have a story of Dean This is how he lived. This was a transmission he gave the world. And so in that, in that, people will feel that, they will know who I was. And if there was a dissonance in that, well, there would be a chaoticness to maybe how people remembered me. Or it would be a book where the chapters jumped from one thing to another and it didn't have linearity But because I'm focused on this deep structure, even if I jump from one fin to another, there's this ability to see that, oh, there's an interconnectedness between this, which allows one person to progress from one fin to the other. It's like considering what I'm doing here on this podcast, if you go to my Instagram channel, you can see, oh, I'm speaking to pretty similar fins. There's an alignment of values here. There's an alignment of what I'm speaking to. Here is obviously more depth. There's more nuance. I'm having deeper conversation. I'm sharing more vulnerably. I'm having long form conversation. Yet it's about topics that I talk to on my social media. It's the topics I'm talking to on YouTube. And in 
everything I'm doing. If a person saw that, it would be like, Dean, you are creating a lot. How are you like creating so many different things right now? Doesn't that feel like a lot? It is a lot. Like I started a lot recently. I started writing a book. I started a YouTube channel. I've started this podcast. I've been creating other content yet it's all interconnected. So I'm not trying to make one thing about another and then this about that and this about that. No, they're, they're growing together because it's an ecosystem. There's a harmonious environment that's allowing me to move in a singular direction because there is alignment in it because I've checked in on the deep structure of what I've been talking to. And this is one of the most important things to begin to consider. So for me, when I work with people now, I want to check what is the story they're telling the world, especially when it comes to social media or sharing their message. And what this will be is a a story from their own life. So the reason my deep structure is about soul and what I share and what I talk to is about soul is because in the past, I was very disconnected from it. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. I was living a life that was very disconnected from soul. And so my journey was a journey back to connecting to my own soul, knowing what I wanted and how I wanted to live. So that was my hero's journey. And so that is the story and the journey I take other people on. There's nuance to that, how that is evolving is a constant evolution. And this is where my wound, my sacred wound, if you're not familiar with that concept, it's this idea that our life offers us a sacred wound. So a lot of talk is being had around trauma and the effects of this trauma and all of that. And I I acknowledge that and I also see this in the story of the sacred wound, which is we were wounded in such a way that allowed our gifts to come online and be shared with this world. Because of my disconnection from myself, I can then go help others connect to themselves. And there's nuance to this, some things around my voice and being so afraid to speak and then going on to starting a podcast speaking on here has showed me that I can do it so I know other people are capable of it because I started in a place where I was getting speech therapy. I was starting in a, po- in a point where I had so much shame around my voice and distrust of what I would say and wonderment of how would that be useful. And because I've been through that, I can then serve others along this path. And so that's the story I'm telling people so that then they can be like, oh, I connect with that journey. I want to go on that journey. So I'm weaving a deeper story into the collective and I believe that story aligns with the vision I have for the world because I believe many, many people right now are working towards a similar thing and I check in of, oh, what is their deeper story? Oh, they're moving people towards a deeper alignment of soul and living with aliveness and and they may use different words but it's the same thing. Like I spoke of Mark Gaffney already, I'm reading his book at the moment, Mystery of Love, and it is beautiful. He speaks of Eros and the Shekinah, which Eros is is aliveness, but generally associated quite deeply with sexuality. But he talks about living an erotic life and not in the sense of hedonism or like trying to just be always sexual, but being in that state of deep connection and presence with every moment of life. And I see this the same as living with soul. Other people may call it daemon, dharma, like all of these things, but they're the same thing, just spoken in a different way. And there's people who are moving others towards this collective vision and I'm aligning myself with that greater collective vision because that's where I want this world to move. So everything I do... And every story I'm telling and sharing is connected to that to allow that to occur. And this is the importance of checking in with the deep structure. So I'm going to leave that there. That felt like a lot and it was going into some tangential movements, but I hope that landed. 
let me know what landed for you. I'd love to hear what your own deep structure is. Have you considered that? Like what is a greater meaning of what you're doing right now? Is there a greater meaning and what would you like that to be? That is something I'm very passionate about. If you want to go further into that, currently I may still have uh, some one-on-one spots open for my mentoring. I'm recording this with a few episodes in the bank. So by the time this comes out, it may not be, but send me a message and let's connect. Let's have that conversation and see how we can drop in deeper and serve you in living in alignment with your soul. This is Dean Bentley on The Weird Way, signing out.